In this matter, there is evidence in the case that a jury could weigh that the statements were made by the defendant, which is not in evidence at this point. So I can't rule on that statement whether or not it is just a tweet or if it's some sort of republication. The court case between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard has been a really tough one, and there have been numerous speculations that she changed her testimony in court. On the 16th of May, which was a Monday, Amber Heard was giving testimony against Johnny Depp, and if you watch that testimony video, you will notice that she was inconsistent with her speech. As the court case went on, the judge realized that she was lying under oath, and we are going to be talking about the exact moments this happened in this video. Before we continue, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying, I have subscribed, and I will reply to your comment. Let us get to the breakdown. Number 10. Aggressiveness Amber Heard stated that Johnny Depp became aggressive with her for the first time in 2013, and on the 16th of May, she said something different, stating that Johnny Depp was aggressive with her for the first time in 2012. The judge asked, Amber, when was the first time that an act of physical aggression by Mr. Depp occurred? Amber Heard replied by stating that it was in early 2012. Amber Heard was also asked how she was sure of this, and she stated that she read her therapist's notes. That reply is a very strange one and a bit foolish, but that was what she said. Number 9. Rationalization Amber Heard's lawyer tried to understand why she changed her testimony while under oath, but Johnny Depp's lawyer did not allow Amber Heard to breathe at all. The judge then asked Amber Heard when the first time was that she experienced abuse from Johnny Depp, and she was stating that she mentioned it was because of a tattoo of Winona Ryder on his body. She then proceeded to ask Amber Heard again when the first act of abuse against her was, and she did not answer the question. Number 8. Confused Dates Amber Heard then decided to state that she was saying the truth, but she confused the dates for one another. A lot of people started to wonder how it was possible for one person to confuse the incidents of an entire year with one another, considering that they were traumatic incidents. Amber Heard tried defending herself, and she said, I am embarrassed to say I think I would have liked to believe the period of time in which I had to fall in love with Johnny Depp, in which we fell in love and he was sober, and I think I would have liked to believe that I was not hit so early in the relationship, and he was also sober for a period in 2012, which was a peaceful time for us and which we fell in love, so I had kind of allowed myself to forget that the beginning of the period 2012 he got sober was chaotic. Do you understand anything from what she said? I am confused as well. The court case events between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard were filled with a lot of senseless and meaningless quotes in which Amber failed to answer the main questions directed at her. Number 7. Police Interference Amber Heard also spoke about the first time she decided to involve the police in her activities and stated that it happened in 2011. She also said that in 2016, when she decided to get a restraining order against Johnny Depp, she was advised by her counselor to skip some incidents. Amber Heard said that she adequately prepared herself for the trial against Johnny Depp, and she decided to use the notes of her therapist to prepare. She confessed that she referred to the notes because she wanted to refresh her memory concerning what had happened. Amber Heard was also asked why she claimed not to be able to remember what happened. She said that was not how her memory works. In her words, we were together for five years and it was very chaotic and at times very loving, emotional relationship. So as anyone can imagine, there was a lot going on and unfortunately the abuse became almost normal, especially towards the end. It was just almost normal. Number six, lies. Amber Heard was clearly lying about what she said in court concerning Johnny Depp laying hands on her, because if Johnny Depp truly laid hands on her, she would remember. This lady could remember the minor details in the relationship and the insignificant dates and events that happened, but could not remember the one time that she was actually abused by Johnny Depp. She was clearly lying. A particular Twitter user stated, Amber Heard can remember dirty carpets, birds, mashed potatoes, bees, vintage, jars, but cannot figure out which year something happened in. That is a little suspicious. Number 5. The First Day On the first day of her testimony, Amber Heard spoke about the incident of her abuse, and she stated, I will never forget it. It changed my life. 
Amber Heard said that the incident changed her entire life, but somehow found it difficult to remember the year when it happened. After Amber Heard had contradicted herself multiple times during the testimony, a fan on Twitter said, after Elaine asked her why she did not remember certain events, Amber Heard legitimately said that was not how her memory worked, but a while ago, she said that she was never going to forget what happened. Which is it, Amber? Both cannot be true. Another person on Twitter, clearly disgusted by what Amber Heard was saying, said, Amber Heard cannot remember events when presented with evidence, but she can remember events when there is no evidence to back up her claims. Number four. The jury. The jury eventually stopped believing what Amber Heard said because it was noticed that she was lying and saying things that were not true. A lot of fans also stated that Amber Heard was more active on social media, not necessarily posting pictures, but checking what people were saying about her so that she could find a way to lie around them. Another fan talking about Amber Heard tweeted, Amber Heard is seriously changing her testimony and adding things after a 10-day hiatus on the stand. She has been looking on social media and realized her mistakes and is scrambling to fix things but is only digging herself deeper. Another person talking about Amber Heard's team said, Amber Heard's team is literally pulling everything from social media and this is not allowed. She is changing her testimony live. These tweets just kept rolling in. Another fan mentioned they had to do a cleanup operation to cover all her lies from last week. It is so obvious that her lawyers have coached her on the week break. She has even toned down her overreacting on the stand. Elaine covered everything social media has talked about. I hope the jury is not fooled. Number three, Elaine. Johnny Depp's lawyer performed an excellent job of interrogating Amber Heard, and she also mentioned that Johnny Depp refused to look at Amber Heard during the trial, and she decided to ask some questions about this fact. She said, Mr. Depp has not looked at you once this entire trial, has he? Amber Heard then stated that she did not notice him looking at her, and she was also asked if she had looked at Johnny Depp, which she nodded positively to. Elaine also asked Amber Heard if she knew why Johnny Depp was refusing to look at her, and she stated that she knew. Johnny Depp made a promise to Amber Heard stating that she was never going to meet eyes with him again. Number two, breaking the restraining order. Elaine also reminded Amber Heard of the time she broke the restraining order against Johnny Depp and coerced him into meeting her in a hotel room. After Johnny Depp agreed to meet her, she wanted to hug him and she reminded Amber Heard that it was in San Francisco. There was an audio that was recorded pointing out the conversation between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and Amber Heard was forced to listen to it. Amber Heard also mentioned that Johnny Depp could not look at her, making it seem like it was physically impossible for Johnny Depp to look at her. Number one, humiliation. A lot of people that were monitoring the trial pointed out that Amber had made it seem like Johnny Depp was helpless and could not look at her. One person posted on social media saying, hearing her say that he cannot look at her solidified that she's the one abusing him. She's trying to bait him into looking at her even though he promised not to and has kept his word. She just wants to take away one more thing to prove she still holds control over him. Judge Penny reacted to Amber Heard's testimony, and her reaction was all over the internet. It was obvious that she had gotten tired of Amber Heard's testimony, as well as her lawyers confusing one another. At least as we know, Johnny Depp has won the trial and is going to be collecting $15 million from Amber Heard, and this has made a lot of fans happy. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comment section, but before you leave, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos about your favorite celebrities. Do you want to keep the fun rolling? Check out this related video to see more, and I will see you in the next video.